Yo, what is up you guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove your valve covers and paint them. So this one is orange. Um, I actually painted this a couple of days ago and um, it doesn't really look that bad in here. Like it actually looks pretty good. But I didn't paint this one because this paint is chalky. It's called fluorescent bold neon for high visibility. This right here, I mean, it's got the high visibility, but uh, you know, it's it's not that good because on the cap, like this camera does no justice, but on the cap it shows that it's like a legit neon, like something that you would see like in Vegas or something like that. Like it's really neon-y, it's really orange. Now look at this. That doesn't look remotely close at all. But let's go ahead and pop this off. So first thing you wanna do, um, if you have your air inbox all hooked up, I got mine taken off because it runs better without it. Uh, there's a vacuum leak I gotta fix. There's a band that goes right here that's been broken. So go ahead and pull this out, remove that, get your uh, air box out of the way. There is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Um, get you a small extension or you know something like that. Take that off, it's for the uh, oil dipstick. And then you just wanna unplug this vacuum line right here. And then it's four 10 millimeter bolts all the way across. Just pull up on it, turn this towards me. Make sure uh, you pull this out. Just like that, the gasket. You got this thing sanded down. It's smooth. I sanded it with 400, and I think that's all I'm gonna do because it's not really, I mean, this thing is smooth, dude. Like, it's not rough at all. It's ready to go. Man, this comes out looking like crap. That dry up. Coat two, baby. Here we go. Alright y'all, I think this thing is done. Look at this thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, boy. Scars on my body from the homie I lost. Tears down my face turn into frost. Start the car hosing the exhaust. I'm running for my life to the man on the cross. In my 740 trying to outrun my demons like I had NOS. Barely breathing, trying to keep myself alive as I drive. I switch lanes, just trying to survive. I crash the car, I arrive. She is done. Look at that, dude. That looks a freaking amazing right there. Wow. He's already got some dust on it. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's just dust from the paint. But yeah, that'll. Dude, that looks so freaking good right now. 
Wow, dude. Should I paint the tops of these black? Like, would that look good? Let me know. Like, I would paint all of this. Actually, I probably wouldn't paint this because it would look stupid if it was just, like, cut off. But, like, if I paint the ones in the middle, should I do that? Let me know in the comments. Like, that would look dope, right? Anyway, now we got to take this side out. So this side is going to be a little bit more complicating because you got this big old wire harness in the way. Got all this uh, wire spaghetti in the way. And you got to unplug this. Oh, that just comes right on out. And then you got to take this out. This just unplugs as well. But um, let me go ahead and get that. Hopefully uh, this valve cover seal doesn't like rip or anything like that. Hopefully I can reuse it like I did the other one. And uh, yeah, this is gonna look so freaking good. Only bad thing is this one's gotta be like super cleaned because it's still got a bunch of grease and oil and stuff on it, but we're gonna scrape it off with a razor blade and get this thing turned out. Scars on my body from the homie I lost. Tears down my face turn into frost. Start the car hosing the exhaust. I'm running for my life to the man on the cross. In my 740 trying to outrun my demons like I had. So I wasn't able to get this valve cover out because you actually have to take off this air compressor. So you have to take off the serpentine belt and then you have to unbolt the compressor for the AC. And that's just way too much work just to pull off one valve cover. So I just painted it while I was on the truck and it came out crappy because there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be sanded down and scraped off and all that stuff. But right here on the side, it looks really good. It's smooth. There was a bunch of caked on oil and grease. Just wiped it off and sprayed it. But yeah, it kind of looks like aluminum foil. But I mean, from back here, it looks all right. But I mean, this side doesn't look that good. This side looks freaking brand new, son. Like that is just crazy how that came out. Like that came out so freaking good. It's so smooth and everything. I would touch it, but covered in freaking oil and grease. But hey, uh, it's painted. Now when you look up here, if you can see through all this crap, you can see that it's painted. They both look really good. Now, I just need to get the throttle body taken off and clean it up and paint it silver. So, yeah, probably going to, like, clean all this stuff up. If I can't get this stuff looking really good, I'll probably just paint it silver as well. But, um, yeah, don't look too bad. I love how this side came out. Like, this side came out so perfect. You don't have to take off anything. You got so much clearance, all that stuff so yeah anyway um i think this right here is for the heater core and that's got a freaking aftermarket freaking jumbo slice freaking uh hose on it so we'll have to get that fixed anyway i know i need to turn this around because it's backwards but um man this looks so freaking good this thing is going to be so much better by the time i get done with it I'm thinking about taking all this off cleaning it up if i can't get the uh, plastic to come back to its original form i'll probably just paint it and then paint all this right here white so yeah that's all i got for this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe peace if you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. Jesus said, go preach the gospel to all creation. Souls are going to go to hell if we don't spread the gospel. You sharing this video can literally get the gospel to somebody and save their soul from eternal damnation. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of salvation. Believe in your heart and pray this prayer out loud right now with me if you want salvation. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for me on the cross and rose from the dead three days later. If you prayed that prayer, comment, save. Use this sound. Make your own video. Make the gospel go viral.